down in round two. I'll tell you what, this fellow is a puncher. He's up with a count of about eight. Mohamed really left in with that shot. Is he on his way to yet another quick win? Perez is in desperate trouble again. Down he goes. Get up, says Hamid. I think he was saying, I didn't hit you that time. Perez is gasping for air. Is he going to get up or is this another second round win? It is. He's got it again. Another somersault, another victory. And the march towards the World Championship fight that surely now is an inevitability goes on. You put them in front of him, he knocks them down. And he does it in good style. He does it when you least expect him to hit his man. He just left it in that first one. Got a left it with a shot and put his man over. Well, his family are so happy. He's from Yemeni descent. They've got a corner shop in Sheffield, which is where Prince Nassim was born and grew up. who stopped for the first time since September of 1992 and only the third time in 51 contests. Hamid has done it again. I don't know what more really you can say about him, but um, while well, we await to see somebody test him, but maybe he's so good that they can't test him. That's right, he really just left in there with that left hand. Very solid punch and then plays the bow when, he's, when his opponent's on the floor. Very cocky, but he does the business here. Perez, well, we wondered if he might have the credentials to provide a serious test, but in the end, he did not. But the problem, I think, now, as we just watched the finish again, is, is this fellow too good for his own good? Well, none of the world champions are going to be queuing up to give him a shot, are they? I shouldn't think so. He, he caught him there with a, a short left hand again. Just there, uh, just... Just after this exception. Well, uh, well, I think there, I think here, that Nassi was saying to him, I didn't really hit you here. Why have you gone down? That's right. Well, I thought it was the first right hand and then that little short left hand where he got you know, his weight behind the punch but certainly when he went down it wasn't a punch that hit him and he was motioning him to him to get up which he didn't do that's right maybe him I didn't think he'd hit him that hard but he didn't get up well I think you've got to say on top of all that, that yes he's done the job again yes he's a marvelously exciting prospect yes he could be a future world champion but did it tell us anything we didn't know the answer to that is no. And we await to see him in some kind of crisis, which he may have to go through if he fights the like of Marco uh, Antonio, Marco Antonio Barrera out of Mexico, the WBO champion, or Hector Estero Sanchez, the WBC champion. Uh, the way he's Frank going Wong. in, he's just blasting them all the way with ease. Yeah. We thought this would be a tougher fight. We thought it would answer a few questions, and he really just tied with them and put them away with ease. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes exactly of the second round, Juan Polo Perez has failed to beat the count. The winner, by KO, Prince Nassim Hamed. And still, WBC International Super Bacon Weight Champion. That's his fifth defense of that title, Prince Nassim. And he's now got an amazing record of having won 17 out of 19 inside the distance. And ladies and gentlemen, you're appreciating the speed for the challenger, Juan Polo Palais. But he seems to have everything, doesn't he? Marvellous reflexes. And I don't think that Perez landed a punch. I don't think he did. He just, he pretty much did exactly as he wanted to do, Hamid. He just, he just played with him and knocked him out. Certainly not a serious punch. There's his dad. He obviously carries a great deal of power. He leaps in, he seems to get his whole body behind the punch. Four wins in a total of ten rounds this year, Glenn. It's amazing stuff, we keep marching on. But I still want to see him in a fight where 
he is caught, he has to come through a little crisis to win, and then, then you'd know maybe that he has everything he needs. That's right. So or, or am I being choosy? Well, I think everybody wants to see him with his back against the ropes in a really tough fight, but at this moment they're putting opponents in front of them, quality opponents, and he just keeps knocking them out. Yep, he's beaten uh, this fellow, a former Ladies veteran. Once again, he's beaten still Vincenzo Castro. Freddy Cruz in six rounds, Armando Castro, very durable. Four rounds, Enrique Angeles last time in two. Laureano Ramirez in three, that was a good win, because Ramirez has been back to Britain since and had a win. And uh, Prince Nassim is <laughs> endeavouring to get someone somewhere near our microphone. He's playing the crowd, milking the moment. He's an exuberant young man, he's a cocky young man, but he is a personality. And here he is now, talking to Gary Norman. Well, Naz, as they say in the best Hollywood tradition, follow that. Well, there's no need to rave on about anything, now. And, I mean, you know I'm the best, and all of you know I'm the best. Sky's the limit, you know, I'll be world champ so watch out. That man had been stopped twice in 13 years. What have you got to say about that? You know, I've told you before, Gary, when I hit them, I'm not making a song and dance about it, but believe, they just can't take the punishment, they can't take the power. The power is extraordinary, and I keep saying extraordinary. It's, I'm blessed from God, what can I say? It's a gift. I think he could have got up the second time, but I think he knew it was in for if he had a go up, do you reckon? I tried my hardest, Gary, to call him up, you saw my hand, I said, get up, you've got to take some more hammer, mate. But I'm too strong, and God's on my side all the way. I'll be world champion my next fight. Do you want to have a look at the end of the fight? If you sort of have a little peek down here, we should, we just talk us through your talk us through your punches. Now let me see what I'm doing here. That was a straight right, and it caught him. After that, I, I think it really caught him. It hurt him bad. But saying that, it could have carried on, and he just he meant to go down there. I don't know what happened to him. He was probably still hurt from the first one. Yeah, he was really hurt from the first one. But to tell you the truth. I didn't, that went even 50, that went even 50% of my power there. He didn't really, he didn't even take a proper shot. Look, I'm calling him up here saying, get up, you got to take some more, boy. I knew after he weren't going to get up, so what, what the hell, there's a nice flip there. Look, just too good, what can I say? I'll be world champion in my next fight. I don't even have to explain myself anymore, people know. I ain't shouting my mouth off anymore, I'm, I'm the best and everybody knows it. I think of your division, though, you've got some good champions to beat. Barreras, Hector Acero, Sanchez. Do you fear any of them? Most definitely, I fear none of them. Basically, when I fight them, they're going to get beat, just like the rest. And in style, early nights all the way. I ain't going for long 12 rounds, make it boring. People like to want excitement, people want to be entertained. I'm an entertainer and a banger and a champion, too. I'm not bragging anything, but I'm too good. Too good is the word, and Frank, I've got to say, People watching that are going to say, well, we don't want to fight him. It's, it's difficult for you to find a fight. It is. The problem is he's got such power. You know, the